Hello, Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me to- Whoa! Okay. Plasma, and I'm here today with Lee. You're Lee, I'm the Plasma. Whoa, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking over- And we're here today! Channel. To play Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm here to take over his channel today. Let's so. get right in there. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna steal his channel now. Turns into a ah. double jump. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> gosh, I heard that too. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm the last one here again. Yeah, you make a damn good president. Whoa. You wanna build a wall. I mean, <laughs> I need to build a wall. I want to build a wall. Don't worry. I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? La. Ha ha ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting with this club and now picking up piano. Is she really picking up piano though? Picks up a picking piano. Picking up piano? Hulk smash. Yep. <laughs> it always ends with a Hulk smash. Oh yeah, of course. It's a finisher. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. What's the Remember difference? that... What? What's the difference? Well, determination is like... Like... It's like the 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 the, 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 the like sort of ability to carry on, like you're determined to carry I know. on. I was just waiting to see how you're gonna explain it. And <laughs> and passion is like the love to do something. Like I'm passionate. I, I hate doing this. Oh shit! <laughs> I can't steal his channel, so I hate this whole thing. Ooh, okay, anyways. Oh! <laughs> Remember that the cop wouldn't be here if you spilled water all over. <laughs> just a tsunami, you're just outside with a cup. And then a freaking tsunami just. <laughs> just destroys everything. Whoa, I corrupted Game the over! Files. Yeah, exactly! Delete all the characters, jeez. <laughs> delete all. Delete the game. <laughs> you can't even download it anymore. <laughs> no one can have it ever, ever again. One you, and those that have it right now, that's just all they see is just fish swimming. Oh. <laughs> Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. Well, I'm glad she's happy. And for five seconds. Yeah, see that face? It's that's a happy face. Oh. Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday? Not Freaking so good. Freaking shots fired! You was happy and you had to go say something. Monica. Oh boy, let's see the let's see the face change. Well, yeah. Oh, she isn't she isn't too sassy yet. Yet, give it five questions. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. If I can hold the school, you get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You get to play food. Food fight. We get to play food. The best game. Man, yeah, cannibalism. You sound like a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Speaking of which, where is Sayori? Huh. I don't know. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Is squid pretty good? I've never had squid. I never have it. I've never had it. I'm either. not a big seafood person, so. Oh, you might not like it. I mean, I so you, did, I... you didn't like a. Uh, Alligator, either, right? You said that. Well, when I had it, it was too. It was crocodile specifically, and it was too greasy. Mm, okay. So I'm assuming somebody cooked it wrong. <laughs> okay. Squid. That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh come on! Freaking Monica's a heartbreaker. Yeah. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. Well, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because that's right in your name. Monica. Aika? <laughs> I think Aika is a type of sea creature. Yeah, probably. So know. that's a very bad pun. Uh, Where are you putting your hair there? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not how you say my name at all! 
Shit her, shots fired. Her hair is secretly is secretly a giant terrifying tentacle that will assault everybody in this. Yeah, okay, we're I not going. I was not there. even thinking that. <laughs> I wasn't going down any rod. I'm just saying she's like an alien. Look, yeah, well, man. What do you say, tentacle? Though well, aliens have tentacles. That's just the deal. Not all Cliche aliens have tentacles. Alien tentacles. Well, now they do. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Oh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Excuse me? Rus I oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa, wait a Monica on my face. Where's Where is uh Siri anyway? Oh, there you are. Ziari is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. Why? I walk over to her. Hey, Sayari. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go and talk to everyone else. She seems... Down. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Very. Very down. Huh? Is everything alright? Oh, of course! Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sarah shows me a big smile. Mm -hmm. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. <clears throat> well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back to everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed and everyone is back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori Oh, recently. whoa, straight to Monica. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since they've been prepared for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Taco, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Siri recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica appears across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised she's not the one asking you. I'm, I'm not the one asking you, Taco. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry. I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I, care, I also care about how the, well, about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Yeah, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? I could just use the man in black flash thingy, and she'll forget everything. It'll be easy. <laughs> I mean, do you, you want me to do it? I mean, I could just do it right now. <laughs> you know, I could just imagine myself with that flash memory. We didn't have no United States left when I got done. <laughs> I'm running it down the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Take a selfie with me. I put my sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Maybe she just has a hard time bringing up with the person of interest. Boy. Boy? Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing- whoa. I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Taco. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, well, well. 
I probably shouldn't say it too much, but... Sarah talks about you more than anything else, you know. Yeah. So there's been so much happier since... ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sarah is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. She's literally just a ball of gas. Just fire everywhere. Just sun. Just burning everything. <laughs> She's just sitting there burning. I'd be that smart ass to come up. Just set up a bunch of uh, solar or solar plates around her. Look, we're making the use of most of our time. Here we go. <laughs> Strap just her down. <laughs> Stay here. There's a bunch of solar panels all around her. Stay there. Don't move. Be my luck. I do that, and the power reactor just overloads, explodes. All the power in the whole planet just goes away. Too much Hulk smash. Damn! I didn't know the Hulk caused that much sun. Hulk is secretly made out of the sun. That's why he works so well with Superman. Question mark. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> It's not any different now than it's always been, it has been, yeah, that. Uh, ha, ha, ha. You're so funny, Tonko. You should probably save your dad more. <laughs> Have you thought that maybe you've ever seen her so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Dut, dut, dut. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know I know it? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so don't think about it. Try not to think about it for now. Ah. Uh, Alright. Yeah, okay. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know I won't be able to forget about it. Well, I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up at her desk and walks across the room to where Sayari is sitting. She just instant transmissions, just <laughs> next to Sayari, just... What is her problem, Earthling? <laughs> I mean, Sayori. I, I mean, Sayori, my friend. My Earth friend, I mean, my friend. <laughs> I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everything else. But that's impossible for me to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? Then I'm letting this weigh me down so much. Ball and chain. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Black screen. Da da dot. Okay, everyone! After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Well, that will share our poems now. Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Let's just completely ignore what they just, they're done talking. That's it, nothing else. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she's talking about with Sayori. Well, might as well. Here we go. Eh, this is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, Tonko. Eh, uh, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, Sarah, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? Eh, uh -huh. of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. Uh -huh. Do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Tonko! I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah. I guess you're the only one who likes this the most. This one the most. Why? <clears throat> you don't want to get closer with everyone else? Oh. The music even the dropped. The music just dropped. Dropped a base. And dropped the episode because it's up. To, it's time over. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you fancy. This just got real, dude.
I think this is where this it is getting scaling. S- this is getting sad. I mean, something's up. Something's definitely up. So, uh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.